Hello, and welcome to our session on digital resources available through the school district. My name is Michelle Jarrett, and I am the library supervisor. We are going to show you some great digital resources that your students can use now that we're one to one. All of these resources can be found in ClassLink. I've invited some fabulous media specialists to help me. So let's see what they have to say. Hi, my name is Tanya Galinianas. I'm here at Topopecalaga High School. And um, I wanted to go over my favorite resource with you. Um, my favorite resource for our high schoolers is Gale um, Testing Center. If you go to our classic, which is where, where our students live, you go to Testing Center, you're gonna see Gale Digital TKHS. So in our testing center, you're gonna see all, these are all our databases. I'm just gonna to go to Peterson's Tech Prep. This is the only resource that is required for the kids to log in. There's a couple of reasons for that. The first one is that it is going to track their progress. And the second reason is because it is personalized. A lot of the little um, assessments that they do is personalized. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. I already have my login. And all they have to do if they don't have a login is just do new user sign up and they add their information. I encourage them to use the school email address, pick a username and go from there. So um, you have your different topics. I'm in the AP Human Geo test prep. So you have your introduction, you have four topics that's completed. You also have your practice tests. And if I go to show all announcements, that's not what I wanted. If I go to show all announcements, it gives you, and see how it's personalized? It has, it's gonna have your student's name on it. Going back to the different AP testing. We already went through vocational tests, explore careers and improve your score. We also have available for us FSA prep. You have basic English writing, basic math tutorials, and we going down. You also have Microsoft Office tutorials. We are a Microsoft Office. Um, district, so this is very useful for pretty much anybody who needs a little refresher. If you have any questions, please see your media specialist. Hi, my name is Helen Reed, and I'm the media specialist at Narcusi Elementary. And one of the resources that I really like to use with my students is Pebble Go and Pebble Go Next. It's a really great research tool for my students. Um, oftentimes, they do projects where they have to research states or a biography or research animals. And it's just really interactive for them and very kid friendly. It has things like games built in to keep them interested. They love doing the question of the day and it's a good way to kind of get them talking and discussing. And there's also really great videos that go along with the content. I also really like that there are some built in accommodations to help our students, especially how it reads aloud to them. So it just kind of helps them out a little more. There's also some really great teacher tools there as well. So if a teacher were to do a certain project with the students, they could um, extend their learning in ways as well. Hey there, I'm Jonathan with the Osceola County Schools District Office, and I'm gonna tell you about my favorite resource for students that you can use at home. It's called the All Access Pass, and that's Osceola Library Link, and this is a partnership between the Osceola County Public Schools and the Osceola Public Library. And at the end of October, you'll be able to access this from home or check out books that you can pick up at your public library. By being a student with the Osceola County Public Schools, you'll automatically have your own library card. To log into your account, you'll go to osceolalibrary.org and you'll sign in with the letter S as in Sam, and then your student ID and your password is the year you were born. And once you're signed in there, you can place items on hold and choose your branch where you'd like to pick them up, but you'll also have access to all of their online items. You can check out books, music, 
comic books, movies. You can even look at their databases. And I'm on their website right now. And you can look up different languages that you want to learn. You can look up tips on different careers and even do some of those career tests. You can do practice tests to see how you would score. They have access to encyclopedias. They have access to Britannica. They have access to genealogy. So you could research your ancestors. And they have access to newspapers, magazines, and journals. And so if you're ever writing a paper and you don't know where to find a good source, you can actually sign into your account and look through their databases. And that'll give you better information than if you're Googling it, which will sometimes take you to Wikipedia, which isn't a reliable source, right? So go to osceolalibrary.org at the end of October and sign into your student account using S, your student ID, and the year you were born and get reading. Hi everybody, my name is Brian Joseph. I'm the media specialist at Harmony Middle School. I want to share with you one of my favorite digital resources that's available to all Osceola County students and families. Uh, when we do research here at Harmony Middle School, we always talk about Google. Google is a great place. It's a gr got great information if I need a quick definition, if I need directions to my favorite restaurant, if I need to figure out who won the 1975 World Series. But using Google is not good academic-based research. So Osceola County has supplied us with a great research tool in Gale, the Gale resources. I'm gonna show those to you real quickly. We always start here uh, at our homepage. We go to class link uh, to find all of our apps that are available to us. Give it a few seconds here to load up. You will see that Gale Digital is an app in class link and we have our own here at Harmony Middle School, Gale Digital HRMS. Every school has their own uh, app geared for their school that will have just the information that they need. So we click on that. And again, takes a little bit here. And we have got ourselves six great places to go for information. And again, this is screened good information that you can trust when doing academic research. Two of these things I wanna show you, I'm gonna show you real quick. The first is Gale in Context Middle School. And it is set up just like any search engine. Kids can jump right in, they know how to use this. If you're looking for information on sharks or uh, the American Revolution, type that in and it has unbelievable amounts of information for you at your fingertips. It's got primary sources, it's got uh, magazine articles, newspaper articles, digital articles, it's got a great overview article, it'll have pictures and videos and everything else for you right here on Gale Resources. All right, let me show you again. Um, the other one I wanted to show you was opposing viewpoints. So we talk about our Socratic seminars and getting kids to think and see different sides of things, this is a great place to go. Type in something like distracted driving and you're gonna get both sides of that argument about texting and driving, uh, social media and driving, um, view screens and driving, it's all right there for you. So again, this is Harmony Middle School's Gale Digital Resource page. Every school has a page just like this and it's incredible for doing academic-based research. Hope you guys try it out and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks again. Hi everyone, my name is Heather Graw. I am the media specialist over at St. Cloud Middle School and my favorite resource is Mac and Via. If you have ever used Kindle for eBooks or audiobooks, this is um, the same concept, just a different platform. Mac and Via is so student-friendly. When we are teaching our students, we are talking about ebooks and audiobooks, not just for pleasure, but for also um, helping with the curriculum. Many of our students are English language learners, and the Mac and Via will help them translate it right into Spanish. I have purchased numerous books in Spanish. There's also dictionaries that are embedded, and even me as an adult still use the, the dictionary that's embedded. And it helps the students to the continuity of just reading without stopping and pulling out another resource. With our one-to-one -one initiative, 
My students have 24 seven access now to any ebook or audiobook that they uh, would like. Uh, in our school, we have um, numerous resources available. The students can check them out. And this is really helpful because sometimes libraries are closed because of testing or for whatever reason. And that way the students can actually check them out on their own. Another thing is that so many students wait for books to be returned because somebody else has had it for a long time. Uh, the eBooks and audiobooks only stay on the original person's account for two weeks. Uh, it also allows the person though, if they're do not done, to renew it for two weeks, which is a great feature. Uh, however, if I have it for two weeks and somebody has waited for it, they have requested it, after two weeks it automatically goes to the other person. Um, so portability, it's always there for them, and there are no lost uh, books. So many students, unfortunately, because of how we are, um, they have lost uh, books or textbooks or anything like that. And so this one, it's an electronic resource, and so they have um, no ability to lose it. So it is portable, they can maintain it, and they are guaranteed to get something that they have requested. Um, there's another feature that uh, we use for our battle of the books and some of the students are using for research and that is a notebook. So you can highlight, you can take notes and print those off and it even cites the sources, which is a great tool for learning how to research properly. Um, we have been using Mac and Via in this county for probably eight years and um, I will continue to, to advocate for this as I use it, the teachers are using it, and the students are using it as well. I hope you have a great day. Bye. We thank you so much for joining our session today. Please remember you can find all of these digital resources in ClassLink, and should you ever have a question or need any assistance, you can contact one of your local green shirts or your media specialist at your school. Thank you so much and have a great day.